For most people, snakes are one of the last things that they want to see while out exploring in nature, much less while on their own property. Generations of cultural conditioning have taught many of us to fear and distrust these reptiles because of a perceived threat of bodily harm. But let me ask you a question. Do you really think that the snake you see on the side of a trail somewhere is going to hurt you? Or do you simply not know what it's going to do next? I truly believe that when it comes to snakes, misunderstandings are what lead to fear. And just by learning some simple things about their lifestyles and habits, you can totally demystify these animals and come to understand what they're doing when you come across them. The more time I spend around snakes, the more I am convinced that they do not deserve the aggressive reputation that we give them. And I want to prove that point by showing you one of North America's most iconic yet misjudged snakes, the Eastern Rat Snake. Today we are exploring in rural North Carolina alongside two very good friends, Spencer Hoffman and Emilio Pasmino. Both talented educators and seasoned snake hunters, Spencer and Emilio are invaluable partners in our effort to clear the name of the Eastern Rat Snake. Finding rat snakes can be challenging. They aren't the most abundant snakes, and having an encounter usually means being in the right place at the right time. And with an area as large as Spencer's backyard, that is not a guarantee. Luckily, there are some spots that Spencer knows that these snakes hang out, and he assures us that it's a matter of when we find one, not if. One such spot is around his barn, an area that provides a rat snake with lots of cover and promising potential for a meal. As we all poked around looking for signs of reptile activity, Emilio called out that he had spotted a large black snake hiding among some old equipment, and we all rushed over to see if we could make the capture. It's got a huge rat snake right over here. All right. Camera ready? Yep, go for it, bro. There we oh, go. He's big, he's big. You have it's him. very big. Yeah, I got him. He's orange. Look at the orange coloring. Oh, there's two. There's two, there's two. I'll grab the second one. Holy smokes. Oh, oh yeah. You're, 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 oh, oh, oh. yeah. Look at that. Bring him out, yeah. bring him out. You think this is a mating pair? Maybe. Maybe. Po it, highly it, possible. Yeah. They're super calm. All right. Look at that. They're very cold though. Oh. They are cold. Hi, buddy. They're cold. Look at this. Wow. Well, <laughs> that couldn't have gone any better. Two beautiful eastern rat snakes. Could be a mated pair. Could just be a couple looking for some lunch. But how about that? Now we've gotten the snakes in hand and into a better position, but this is absolutely incredible. And to be honest, this is where we expected to find them. Spencer has a beautiful property here in North Carolina, lots of woodlands, but where we really expected to find the rat snakes was right here by the bar. Now, Emilio, what would they be doing out here? Well, these are rat snakes. As the name suggests, they prey on rats. And rats like to eat the feeds of the chickens and all the other livestock that we have here. So these snakes are gonna be in there preying on the rats and occasionally they might take a couple eggs too. And for that reason, rat snakes are often persecuted here in North Carolina and across their range. People see a big snake like this moving around their barn, around their pets, and they get really scared and pretty much kill them on sight. But what we want to prove is that is the absolute worst thing you can do. Because we just took these snakes out of the wild. You just saw us catch them. And look how docile they are. They're like puppy dogs. Check this out. They are not ever going to hurt a person unless you persecute them first. And this species in particular, they're not venomous. They have no form of really hurting a human. So even if they would want to attack us, there's absolutely nothing to fear. These are incredibly muscular snakes. They're pretty much solid muscle all the way down their body. And there are two reasons for that. One, as we mentioned, these are constrictors, so they're catching their prey by squeezing them, but also they're really impressive climbers. So if you look at the bottom of these snakes' stomachs, you see that their scales are pretty square. And the reason for that is they use those square scales to pinch tree bark, and that's how they actually climb up into trees or up in the branches. So when you think of a snake, that doesn't have any legs, it's kind of hard to imagine how they could climb so well. But it's those square scales and those really strong abdominal muscles that make these guys such amazing climbers. Now, one thing we wanted to talk about is the fact that, as we mentioned, this species is so often vilified across the United States. And it's completely undeserved. As you take a look at these individuals, they haven't once opened their mouths, tried to musk on us, tried to strike at us. They have been this calm since we found them. Now, rat snakes are a really cool species to have around. They're a very special animal to both of us because they're a great ambassador for snakes in general. Because look at this, these are wild animals that we're working with. 
and they are absolutely puppy dog tame. It really demystifies the, the experience when you know why these animals are out here in the first place. We mentioned that they're just trying to look for food. They're not here to antagonize humans. In fact, they'll get out of your way faster than you will out of theirs. The more we learn about these snakes, the less we will be afraid of them. And that, exactly right. that is why we are not afraid of snakes. Because we've spent the time, learned about these animals, we've worked with them for many years and will continue to, just to have moments like this. Because it doesn't get any more special than two rat snakes at the same time. What an amazing encounter with not one, but two eastern rat snakes. Now, Spencer, your family is not too fond of these guys, right? Not at all. Uh, these guys are totally harmless, but they do occasionally cause problems. We do commercially sell our eggs and such. So when we find them in the barn or near the house, we tend to take them way out back in the woods and hope that the stressful encounter of them seeing people will deter them from ever coming back. And really, that's the perfect thing to do with these snakes if you ever find them on your yard. So let's actually get these guys yep. out into the woods. You don't need to kill them. They're not here to hurt anyone. Just relocate them to a safe area that's a comfortable distance away from your home. That's all there is to it. So we're gonna bring these two down into the woods now. We're gonna go ways back. Yep. So. All right, so follow us this way. Here's good. Okay. Far enough from the house. Perfect. These guys out in the habitat. And, a nice uh, piece of tin there for them. Away from here. Oh, and right under, that's perfect. Hopefully they will not come back by the house. He's chasing me, hell. The snake is chasing Oakley-ish. Oh no. The snake is chasing oakley -ish. Amelia, where can we find you? Right here. Where on YouTube? On the internet. Emilio has Animal Encounters, his amazing YouTube channel. Make sure to go give him some love on there for wildlife all over the world. You were just in Ecuador, weren't you? Yep. Awesome. So go check out Emilio on Animal Encounters. Spencer, where can we find you? Right, right here. It's, it's, it's my wild backyard. My, oh, my wild backyard on YouTube? Yeah, it's my, my wild, wild backyard. backyard on YouTube. You can find Spencer right here in my wild backyard on YouTube. Awesome, guys. Rat snakes are complex, powerful, and personable animals. And I hope that our experiences today have changed your mind about snakes if you weren't too comfortable with them before. The truth is, if you learn to recognize what species of snakes are in your area and respect their space when you do come across them, snakes pose absolutely no danger to a person, especially a non-venomous species like the eastern rat snake. If you enjoyed this video and want to meet another incredible snake with an undeserved reputation, check out this video where we catch a southern black racer down in Florida. And with that, we hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.